distinguished guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure and privilege to be integral part of this Al Jazeera online studio inauguration. Right. We live in a changing world. You have seen the reflection. Mahmoud uh, Shahib has summarized so distinctly. During the informal conversation, also we are seeing the excitement in the change in face of the world. In the last four months, the world has gone through an extraordinary set of transformation. First of all, we have to acknowledge the fact those front and paramedics, doctors, nurses, and others who are totally engaged in the public service, we need to thank them first of all. They keep our lives safe and healthy. I hope, hope you, you and your family are all safe and doing well. Extraordinary set of transformation is happening around the world. In terms of global economics, I can say this year is going to be a huge contraction. In terms of global momentum, we are going to have a, a what you call great recession to the tune of nearly 5%, 4.9% is what IMF says. If it stops at first a level of uh, pandemics, if the second wave, if it is going to have a deeper impact, perhaps it may even regress further to 68 to 6.9%. The trade is impacted. Investments are all standstill. Currencies are all decelerating. And we have total disruption to every part of the business, which will be the industry. Globally, the politicians, economists, and the technocrats are all coming together in making sure we bring back the global momentum, ensuring humanity is not unduly disturbed. But the tragic loss in terms of human lives over half a million and over still 10.5 million people infected is a cause for concern. There are fiscal and monetary tools have been used. You know, everyone understands this crisis has defied all the logics, caste or creed or advanced economies or developed economies or race or religion. So we are in truly an extraordinary set of changing dynamics. There are positive outcome in the whole frame. It is not everything is, is going to be a destructive. The biggest discovery of this crisis, human beings can alter their attitude and alter their lives to have betterment in substance. And that's what exactly we are all doing it. Everything has changed in terms of our personal lifestyle and professional make. We are all seeing it. Glaringly, we are witnessing it. Every part of the business has to go through the digital governance. There's no exception to the frame. That's a huge change, but either you embrace the change or die. There's no option. In terms of sustainability, we started managing the disaster. Now we need to look at the continuity in terms of business as well as our personal life. So, so we aim at long term. Our value creation should be to be positive and productive. And that's what we need to infer. Online education, if you take education, it's changing. Online or offline, offshore or onshore. Today, we are transcending borders. We live in interconnected, interdependent world. Healthcare. Every part of the online support is coming through in global respects. And we live in a flat world now in terms of Knowledge economy, we are evolving to be a fine combination. Irrespective of where you come from, whether you're from Bangladesh or Bombay or from Silicon, your skill and job evaluation is going to be respected and you're going to have a value-driven pricing and momentum. That's a huge transformation. Similarly, we are also building a greener economies, building a new world in terms of creating a carbon neutral society reduction of carbon emission is also a value advantage. We are looking at healthcare, clean water, hygiene, sanitization. We are already imposing social distancing norms. So this is here to stay. This is not over. Even if you administer a clinical solution, you have to necessarily recognize the world has changed for good. It's going to sustain a long-term value chain. We are going to 
interconnect ourselves, interdependence, the transformation happening in every business model. Banking is, is a reservoir of integration of knowledge in terms of economics, banking is plays a big role. Today, I can tell you, I have looked at every sector in the last four months. We are supplementing additional liquidity. We want to make sure none of the business get into insolvency. There are enough reasons to believe those who are not embracing the change, those who are not recognizing the challenge has to wind up their shores. So the opportunities still exist. The world is going to be better in the coming days. It is going to transform in substance in terms of economic governance. It's going to transform in terms of social governance, in terms of human governance, and again, environmental governance. All these are converging, and there are more positive reflection than the destruction it is, it is causing or the tragic human loss it has created. In substance, what I want to articulate is to recognize we need to build this partnership, and that's precisely the way forward. We need to come together as one humanity. Irrespective of the gender or caste or creed or race, as I mentioned, advanced economies or developed economies, things are changing. Even if I look back, the crisis we have gone through in the year 2008 or 9, that was confined to financial crisis. In this, there's no exception. Developed world or developing world, everyone is reorganizing. And the way we do the business is getting transformed. It means you have to, if you're an existing businessman, you have to do the remedial management to start with, to sustain your holdings. Two, you have to restructure your complete business model. And that's what, whether it is hotel industry or a bank has to go through every part of the business. There's no ex exception to this. And third, we have to necessarily understand the rationalization will take place. In terms of job losses, there is also a possibility of value creation. As long as you have skill matrix embedded in you, you as an individual, or if you build a knowledge society within the corporate enterprise, you, you as an institution will move on. This is, this is a place where you will recognize survival of the fittest. This is going to create more revenue recognition. It is not only cost cutting. People are going to generate more revenue as long as you create value. Sustenance is all about value creation and development. And that's a very positive culture for generations to come. And that's what we are all engaged in. And again, the most important part is to revisit, invert yourself and integrate yourself into you as a person to purify your mindset, making sure you create a world where you are happy and you will make others happy. That applies to the business sense as well. You have to look at every part of the business. If you look at my business, that is financial service, Everything has changed. Transaction-based processing, people used to come to the branch banking. Not anymore. 86 persons has moved in the last four months to online. We have seen. We have seen even in the corporate side where there are negotiations. Online, real-time, we are having customer relationship management meetings like we do as we speak. So every part of the banking, treasury or trade or investments or banking, Every part of the, the banking spectrum is, is converging with technology and digital governance. And that's going to make sure we'll have less bureaucracy, we'll have more transparency, more compliance. Even if, if you look at the governance level, at the highest level, if you look at the, the, the politicians have to recognize there's nothing as parallel economy anymore. You may even throw the legal tender money. There may not be any paper uh, floating around. So obviously these are changes and which are initially shown as challenges will transform for betterment of humanity. That's a big picture. Coming to the specifics which we are witnessing today, I want to compliment Zakaria, my friend, who has thought through this uh, creative mission, creating an a online a studio, a website, and other Allied uh, complementing uh, projects. I wish him all success. This is the way to go. This is the new world order. Here we recognize in his endeavor, he has been an outstanding photographer. I have seen him 
to my associations and his, his distinct uh, quality creation I have witnessed personally and I'm sure with this digital advantage which he embraces as first of its kind in this marketplace it's going to be a huge success and essentially more and more integration of digital access through photography videography and other services will add value to one and all now the market access is global irrespective of any business again you live in again in one single world as i said that there is no territorial integrity either so his market is huge he is going to play across the region and he can create value creations anything and everything uh, without any space or uh, constraints so i compliment him for his efforts uh, for his creativity and i wish him all the very best and i'm sure he will be a, a greater success in the coming days i wish him all the very best thank you